I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy podcast, episode number 246. Welcome. Okay, so I have, um, let's see, three finished objects looking at my notes down here. Three finished objects and three works in progress that I... I'm going to show you for today. So let's just get started and I'll show you what I worked on. Okay, so for my finished objects, I finished my uh, latest Stitch Your Library project. And uh, as always, when I finish the project for that series, I do not show my progress on that project in these videos. But I, uh, when I do finish the project, then I will show it as a finished object over here. On, in my regular episode videos as well. So I finished that project that I was working on. So let me show you that. <laughs> okay, so this is the Dress Me Bunny. And it is a pattern by Sharon Oyala. And um, she has a written pattern on her website, amigurumi2go.com. And then she also has a video tutorial here on YouTube on, on taking you step by step on how to make it. Anyway, here is my um, Dress Me Bunny. I chose to, uh, she has two patterns for clothes. The, the, the bunny part is the same, but then you can either make a dress or you can make this pair of overalls. And I decided to make the overalls because I thought it was super cute. And as you can see in the back, there's back pockets on the overalls and he has a little carrot <laughs> that sits in his back pocket. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and there's his little tail. Um, I could have made a pom-pom tail, but I don't like making pom-pom, so uh, I opted to make the crocheted tail. But I think it's so cute how the the uh, back of the pants have a little opening to put the tail through. <laughs> uh, the overalls are removable, okay? Um, so anyway, there you go. I, I super cute. I enjoyed making it. It worked out pretty pretty quickly. I made I used DK weight yarn and a three millimeter hook. Uh, she didn't, it didn't call for that. It called for worsted weight yarn and a bigger hook, but I wanted to try to size it down, um, more. And so that's what I used for my project. So anyway, there is my dress me bunny and that's finished object number one. <laughs> okay. So going on to finish object number two, you know, I've been working on, um, a set of, uh, Winnie the Pooh characters. I had made a Winnie the Pooh blanket as a baby gift, along with an Eeyore that I, which was an amigurumi that I had included with the Winnie the, Winnie the Pooh blanket. And after I gave it to the mom to be, she loved it so much. She asked me if I could make some of the other characters. And so I am making three of the other characters. I'm making Winnie the Pooh, which I have finished that. And I showed you that, I think last episode, last week. And then I was working on Piglet. I was almost finished with Piglet. And then I plan on making Tigger after that. But anyway, so I finished Piglet. So let me show you the finished object for Piglet. <laughs> so here is Piglet. Super cute. <laughs> it turned out that the same size as um, Pooh. Um, I crocheted in the arms. That's not what, it wasn't called for that in the pattern. I crocheted in the arms. Um, and I actually did a tutorial while I was doing that because I had a request of how to crochet the arms onto an amigurumi and, or how I do it. And so I, uh, filmed the tutorial as I was working on this. And so, um, and that, that tutorial is available already on, on my channel. Okay. Um, so anyway, here is, uh, Piglet finished. Okay. So I have poo here, uh, so you can see what they look like next to each other. There is Pooh and there is Piglet so far. I mean, you know, the two so far. <laughs> Super cute. Uh, they will sit up pretty well. Pooh sits up very well because he's got his tail back here in the back. Um, I, I jointed the legs. I mean, I did the legs the way the pattern tells you to do it, but I've seen other patterns uh, doing it that way as well. You just run the yarn through the piece uh, from the in, inside of the piece through the body and then into the inside of the piece on the other leg. And you can do that a couple of times if you want to, to tighten it up and then um, secure them and poke, you know, uh, weave the ends in. But that caused the, the arms and legs to be like that. <laughs> okay, not the arms. Well, it called for the arms to do that, but I didn't do that. Uh, I just uh, decided to crochet them on, but I wanted to do the legs that way so that way they he would sit. So I did that for Pooh. I did it for Piglet, but Piglet 
doesn't have a tail. <laughs> well, Piglet has a curly tail, and in the pattern, they didn't. They had the same type of tail as they did for uh, Winnie the Pooh, and so I didn't want to put that tail on him. And so I tried experimenting with a, like a curly tail, and uh, that just wasn't substantial enough to hold him up. Um, and then somebody had suggested using a pipe cleaner, which would have been great if it was just going to be for a dec decorative piece. But I'm not sure what she's going to be doing with these. And so um, I didn't want to put the pipe cleaner in there. And then I thought, well, if it's if it's for a baby, you know, I didn't want it to get hurt with the pipe cleaner or whatever. I don't know. I just felt like, no, better not. So he will actually sit up. You just kind of have to maneuver his body and lean his body forward a little bit. And he will sit up by himself. So, okay. So there are my two so far, Pooh and Piglet. <laughs> okay. So there you go. Okay. So um, now on, let's see, my third finished object is my fourth uh, uh, preemie hat for the month of February. I, I know this is March now, but I did get it finished before March the 1st, <laughs> but it was since um, my last episode, so I'm just showing it to you now. But anyway, I did a puppy hat. This is, uh, kind. I kind of I modified the pattern, the pattern for the basic beanie and the ears and the nose yeah, was a pattern by cream of the crop crochet.com. And so I used that pattern, but then I decided, cause it was like a Valentine's bear. I'm not bear, <laughs> a Valentine's puppy where the ears were like red and the end. I mean, it was cute. And there was like a heart patch around one of the eyes. It was cute, but it's not what I wanted. So, uh, I, I went ahead and used the pattern for the ears and the beanie, but then I just uh, crocheted some circles. I decided to make one ear black and I turned him into a little Dalmatian puppy. <laughs> so there is preemie hat number four for February. So I'm right on track with that. Okay. So that, those are my finished objects for this, um, week. And so let's go on to works in progress. Okay. So works in progress. Number one is now that I have finished, um, Pooh and Piglet. I am now working on Tigger. And so, so far I have Tigger's arm, one of his arms, and I am working on the second arm, which is just the, I've got the hand, I'm ready to start a stripe. Okay. And so that's why I, that's where that is. <laughs> and so, um, I will pop in a picture here. I figured out how to do it. And so I'll pop in a picture here as I'm talking about Tigger and what Tigger's going to be looking like when I'm finished with him. Okay. <laughs> or finish the pattern. Okay. So, um, so that is my progress on, um, uh, Tigger. Okay. So for works in progress, number two, uh, I had told you last week that I had won a giveaway from Rebecca of yarn and pajamas and the giveaway prize was a kit to make one of the no uh, to make a gnome. Okay. A holiday gnome. It was for the St. Patrick's day gnome. And so she had sent me the, uh, all the yarn, the colors that I needed and even the hook and a little bag of stuffing, everything. It was such a cute little s s prize set or kit that she put together and so i started working i started working on that since um um saint patrick's day is coming up uh, hopefully i'll be finished with him before saint patrick's day but we'll see but anyway i'm working on him and i will pop in a picture right here as i'm talking um about this what this gnome is going to look like when it's finished okay so my progress on it is i got the the bottom piece done and i got his little gnome butt that's what she calls it <laughs> um because she gave me a, a circle of um like foam board to put in there to stabilize his bottom so anyway i've got that in there and then i've got though i've got the body sewn or not sewn crocheted <laughs> here's his nose <laughs> that's going to be in the front there and then i do have both of the arms whoop, both of the arms made right here okay see and so those will be stitched on like that okay and then now i am working on his hat and the hat is made with this darker darker green <clears throat> and so uh it is still uh attached to this the skein this is um Katona cotton that I'm using. It was part of the kit. So I'm uh, real excited that I'm using this because I've never used this cotton before. And so that's, I'm enjoying that. Um, anyway, here is the hat. 
it's I've got the top part done. I'm just now uh, going to be building the height to it. Okay, so that is my progress on the St. Patrick's Day gnome. Okay, and I think it's going to be really cute when I get finished with it. So, um, so I'm working on that. Okay, and then my other works in progress is the Feel Better Friends doll. Okay, so. I had showed you last week that I had made the progress on the Feel Better Friends doll up to the point where I was going to attach the arms and that I was going to film a tutorial. So this is like version two of crocheting the arms onto the amigurumi the way I like to do it. But um, I just never got around to getting to the time where I could film the tutorial and I was feeling guilty because... Uh, I needed to get this doll finished so then I can send it off to the little boy that it's going to. And so I just decided, no, I, I just can't wait. I need to go ahead and get this doll done. So uh, he is not, it's not finished, but I went ahead and attached the arms without doing a tutorial. But I will, I, I still plan on making that tutorial for that version of arm attachment. Um, so maybe with the next project that I do the arms like that, then I will try to film the tutorial then. So sorry, but um, I am glad that I got the the single round attachment tutorial up because that that one is I use that more even more than this other this other version. Okay, so anyway, I got the arms attached. Here is his body. Um, so I started with the shoes and then I got, I, I did a few rows to signify socks. And then I did flesh color to make his legs. And then I decided to put um, underwear on him. So I changed to white to make underwear. And then I went back to uh, the flesh color and I finished up his body and I crocheted in the arms. Okay. And as you can see, if you followed me along the, when I talked about these shirts, they're these t-shirts that Valerie of Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet told me about that you could order them from Amazon and it's for a 14 and a half inch doll. Yeah, I can't remember the name of the brand. It's probably on the inside of the shirt here. Let me see. Emily Rose, that's what it is. And this was just, I think it was a five pack. Um, and so I've got this one and four more. Anyway, I, they were so tiny that I was, a, I was afraid that it wasn't going to fit. But once I got the doll finished, it fits perfectly. So I love that. So I'm so happy with that. And um, that way I don't have to crochet a shirt. Okay, so I'm very happy about that. Um, and they have a set of these white ones, okay? And then they also have a set of some pastel colored ones that's the same size. So I'm going to definitely order those too. So that way I'll have um, those because would be more for girl colors. But at least I'll have them a few a few colors. I wish th this one, this set would be in white, but then some more like boy colors, you know, like blue or, or, uh, green or something, you know, maybe primary colors or something. Uh, and then like have a set of the primary colors, a set of the pastel colors. Um, but they don't have that on Amazon. So I have to do some research to see if they, if this company actually makes it and it makes other colors that's not on Amazon. I don't know. Uh, but I do know they have the pastel colors and the white, white. And now that I know that it fits, I want to order the pastel set also. Okay. So my plan is the little boy likes Paw Patrol. So I had bought this off of Etsy. Um, I will link the company, the Etsy company. I have to look in my purchase history, but I'll link the Etsy company where I got this. This is an embroidery, like from an embroidery machine. And it's a sew on or iron on patch. Okay, and so, um, and it's, it was a perfect size for what I needed. And so I'm going to sew the patch. I mean, it's almost too big. I couldn't have it any bigger. So I'm, I won't say it's the perfect size, but it's the closest one that I could get. And so I'm going to stitch that patch onto that shirt. See, and it'd be like that. <laughs> so um, I need to do that. Okay. Yeah, I even thought, well, it's iron on. Maybe I could iron it on, but but I'm not very good. I mean, I haven't done it, so I don't know. I may I may stitch it on, but anyway, there you go. And so I still need to make it. I'm going to make him some little shorts, and I will crochet those. Uh, you you crochet around an elastic hair band, and that's like for the elastic waist on the shorts. 
And so I'm going to do that for his shorts, okay? And then I've got his head made. That's another thing. Okay, so I got his head made. I did the top in a different color for uh, his hair, his hair color. He's he's kind of a, what do they call it? Dirty blonde? I don't know. You know, not like blonde blonde, but he's not, he, he the little boy, he's not, it's very, very light brown, but more to blonde. I don't know. But anyway, I'm using that, which is buff. Okay. Red Heart Super Saver buff. And so I, you have to do like the first eight rows and then you change color to the skin color. So I did that. I'm going to go ahead and sew. I've got in some embroidered eyes that I got from Feel Better Friends that I'm going to um, sew on so then I'll get the placement right. And then I need to figure out how to do the hair. To me, boy hair is hard to do because you're trying to figure out how to attach it. It's just hard. <laughs> and the little boy, he's got he's got hair and it's 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 straight. It's not curly or wavy or anything. And it's like I got a side part and it's combed to the side, kind of like a little boy's haircut, you know, like what well what I think of as little boy haircuts, but I guess it's it's kind of an I don't know, you know, the little boys with the, with the side part and the hair that goes to the side, you know, and all straight and cut short. And anyway, the little boy has his hair like that. And so I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this, um, to put hair on him. I think I'm going to use the buff and then maybe try to figure out where a part would be and then start attaching some strands and just go down past, you know, where I changed colors maybe. And if the eyes are on there, that'll kind of give me a guideline as far as how long to make the hair strands. I don't know. Uh, so if you have any ideas on how to do boy hair that's straight and not curly and it, it's not, I can't just attach it in the little short strands because it doesn't stick, the hair is not spiky or, you know, it doesn't stick up. And so I, that, I've got to figure that out, but I've got to do it quickly so I can get, go ahead and get onto this because I've had it for a while now. And so I am ready to attach the head to the body. Okay, I'm ready to do that. And I've got the ears made already. So actually now I'm at the point I need to do the shorts and I need to do figure out the hair. And, and then get his facial features on there and stuff. But anyway, it's coming along. Um, yeah. And so that patch on the shirt, I got to do that. Oh, okay. So that is my uh, works in progress. Okay. And my finished objects. Okay. <laughs> so let's go on to upcoming. Okay. So for upcoming, since now it is March, uh, I am now uh, starting with... Um, my goal to make four preemie hats for the month of March. So I need to get on that. I haven't done it yet. I haven't started any yet, uh, but I need to. Okay. So I've got that. And then, uh, I'll have a video coming out. I think it's, it'll be coming this today's Thursday. Okay. So I'm, I filmed this video a few days ago, but I haven't posted, uploaded it yet. And so I, I plan on doing that. Probably it probably will come out, um, tomorrow. Yeah. I think so. Uh, I'll schedule, I'll upload it tonight and schedule it where it'll come out tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> so anyway, so be looking for that. What that video is, it is a recap of my February yarn bingo chart and how I did. And I'd show you the, pro the projects that signify each square that I X'd off. And so check that video out, see how many bingos I got. And, um, so, uh, like I said, it'll be, it'll be coming out tomorrow. So, so that is upcoming. <laughs> okay. And, um, what else? Oh, and I want to show you an upcoming project. Okay. So I, I ordered a yarn pack. Now, um, Dina from Ho Dina's Homespun Fun is all your fault. <laughs> Not really, but I was watching one of your videos and I saw that you are making the, uh, if you see this, <laughs> um, that, Dina is making the Lizzie blanket, which is a crochet along that um, Anya of Ophelia Talks did like in September. And it's funny because I am subscribed to Anya's channel. And if you're not, you should be because she's so wonderful to just listen to and the way she talks about crochet and colors and, and also her tutorials are awesome. 
anyway so so i don't know why i did i missed this but um i did somehow <laughs> but anyway so dina was doing this project and i watched her video and i saw her project and i was like oh i got to do that i got to do that <laughs> and so i went over to Oph anya's channel which is ophelia talks and i found the introductory um project uh, the introductory video that she did about this project and she talks about the design or she shows it okay the the it's a it's a throw okay and so um she talks about it and she uh kind of uh talks about the way she designed it and how she came up with the colors and it's just so interesting i've watched it i think twice that introductory video it's very enjoyable i really like it Anyway, so this, it's called the Lizzie Blanket because it's based on Pride and Prejudice. And I love Pride and Prejudice. Although, <laughs> she, the one that she's talking, the movie Pride and Prejudice that she's talking about is the one that's got Kira Knightley in it. It's like the, um, well, it's a remake from, you know, they've made Pride and Prejudice several times. But that is an, actually not my favorite Pride and Prejudice just because that's not the first Pride and Prejudice that I saw, okay? I guess because, you know, sometimes it's whatever you saw first, then when you see a remake of it, you always, you can't help but to try to compare the one with the other. And to me, I enjoyed the Kira Knightley version. It was good. But I really like the Colin Firth version. My, that's my favorite. <laughs> but uh, this blanket is also actually based on the characters. But it's based on um, Keira Knightley version. But that's okay. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> anyway, that introductory video that she makes about this project is, is so enjoyable to me. For me, it was enjoyable for me to watch. She showed it when she so, showed all the colors because she said that you can do this crochet along and you can do it with like as a scrap project, scrap yarn project. And I thought about doing that because, oh yes, I've got scrap yarn. I've got lots that I could do. But when she showed the colors that she used, I just couldn't help myself. I had to order the yarn pack so that I could do, use the exact colors that she used, okay? So I got the yarn pack in the mail. Let me show you that. <laughs> okay, it came in this big organza bag. And um, it's Stylecraft yarn because that's what's more popular in the UK, okay? So here are all the colors. <laughs> Lots of blues and greens and browns and just nature type colors. Oh, it's beautiful. So these colors, there's 15 colors and um here in the in the bag there was a a, a um little postcard that shows you the picture of the blanket, what it looks like. So there are all the colors that are in that blanket. Isn't that so pretty? Oh my goodness. And here is a picture of Anya with the blanket. Oh, it's so pretty. I just love the, I mean, those colors just spoke to me. And so I just had to order them. And, um, after I ordered them, I thought, oh, well, I probably spent more than I should have because, you know, you have to spend, you have to pay for the shipping and then, you know, the cost of the yarn. And I thought, well, did I really save money or did I spend more money because I got it from her, which came from the UK? Or uh, I, I know that Lovecrafts, yeah, Lovecrafts also has Stylecraft yarn. It's DK weight yarn. It's so soft. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I went to um, Starcraft and I, oh no, I went to Lovecrafts and I checked it out to see if this was, um, if it was cheaper, you know, getting it from Lovecrafts because that is here in the States. Uh, but really the price of it, she did give you a, a pretty good price getting the yarn pack from, from Anya, okay? Uh, but then you had to pay like, I had to pay like $11 shipping, which I guess is not really that bad uh, con considering it's coming, coming from the UK, you know. Um, so anyway, so I went to Lovecrafts. I looked, I did the per skein price and really this versus buying it from Lovecrafts, it is um, not um, that much different. So I really didn't really, you know, I, I really didn't spend more getting it that way from Anya and maybe that helped Anya out. So anyway, it was fun and I, I'm really in, 
looking forward to making this blanket. I will link, like I said, I will link that in introductory um, video where she talks about this blanket. I will link it below in the description box. This crochet along, like I said, it was done in September. There's like six videos or seven because there's like six. I think it was you did one section each week. It came out once a week. And I can't remember if it lasted for six weeks or seven weeks. The last week is like the border. Oh, but one thing that really got me where I wanted to work with this, because as you can see, it's it changes color each row. And so I was thinking, oh my goodness, all those yarn tails. But she stresses in when this introductory video, she stresses that there are no ends to weave in. No ends to weave in. And I was like, whoa, that that's I like that idea. <laughs> and so I'm going to do this project. <laughs> uh, I don't know when I'm going to start it. Uh, if anybody, you let me know below in the description box if you, if you anybody want to join wants to join me along in, in working on this project. Now, I won't be doing a tutorial because Anya does the tutorial in on her videos. And they're always on her channel. So, I mean, it doesn't matter when you do it. They'll always be there. Okay. And so, but if you want to kind of follow along with me, you know, um, and we can post pic progress pictures on in my Facebook group. And of course, I will show you as I'm working on mine here, you know, on, on my channel, but also in my face, the Facebook group, uh, Yarn Joy Podcast, if you're on Facebook and want to join us. Anyway, so if anybody wants to do this uh, crochet along with me, like I said, I'll have to figure out when I have a few things I need to finish up to make sure they're finished and then I think I'll get started on it but anyway um there's something oh and like I said you don't have to use this yarn you can use scrap yarn you could use worsted weight yarn if you want to if you don't want to use DK weight yarn uh so you know whatever colors combination colors you want to use you can use your own yarn so don't feel pressured thinking oh I can't buy the yarn okay so um anyway there you go. Uh, oh, and just as your reference, okay, the price, it, it's in pounds. It's like $29.50 in pounds, okay? But in U.S. dollars, that worked out to be about $40. $40 for 1,500 gram, 100 gram balls of yarn. That's not too bad, I don't think. <laughs> and so, um, so 15 skeins, it was about $40 US, but then I had to pay you know, like $11 shipping. So it was like $51, $52, something like that for to get it through her, which I think that's good. Um, but like I said, you can use scrap yarn if you don't, if you, you can use your own yarn that you have already if you want to do that. Okay, so that is a big explanation about that. <laughs> so, but I'm just excited about it. I think it's going to be a fun project and the yarn feels so soft. I'm just, I'm looking forward to doing it. Okay, um, so that's it. <laughs> so check out the video that's coming out tomorrow. Be on the lookout for that. And, um, so that's all I think. Oh, but uh, as always, thank you so much for my new subscribers. I really appreciate you coming over and subscribing to my channel and uh, following me along on the projects and things that I work on and my tutorials and things that I put out. Um, sorry for the shifting eyes, but I am now filming. If you can tell, the color is much better on my videos. I'm so excited. <laughs> and so um, I'm using an iPad now instead of uh, the camera that I had. It's just the camera is better and the colors look so much better. But I'm having a hard time looking at the camera because I'm seeing a screen of myself. And so I have to I have to look to the side of where the screen is, where the camera is. And that's, I'm looking at, that's how I look at you. But my eyes are always darting back to seeing myself. See, now I'm looking at myself and I'm not looking at you. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to get used to this, but I think it's worth it with the, the color, the color in the vibrancy of the, looks good with the yarn colors. So anyway, that's why my eyes are like going crazy. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go. So thank you so much, my new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for those that have been with me from the beginning. I appreciate you all so much. And I really love reading your comments and you give me so many good ideas and tips. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> so if you haven't sub subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. So that way you can follow me along and, and hit the bell. So then you can be notified when the next video comes out and please hit the thumbs up button below in the description box. And 
Um, I saw that. I thought that was, I was like, why did I get it on myself? No, that's part of the, that's part of the shirt. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, um, what did I say? Oh, yes. Please subscribe to my channel and follow me along and hit that thumbs up button at the button below. If you enjoy my videos, I really appreciate it. Okay. So thanks guys, everybody, everybody. <laughs> I say guys. And then I know some, some people don't like you to say guys and so I'm trying to remember thank you everyone <laughs> and uh have a wonderful weekend and we will see you in the next video bye-bye <laughs>